All right, so WikiLeaks email hack revealing that Hillary Clinton, if she becomes president, would support, quote, closing the gun show loophole by executive order and imposing manufacturer liability. Wow. So that fear, that fear that a Clinton presidency would impose gun control, one of the big reasons we've seen gun control sales, or gun sales rather, set a new record last month. Take a look, uh, some of the gun stocks we're showing you there on the screen. Most of them are higher right now. It's been a boon to gun stocks, uh, certainly as of late, and small businesses that sell guns because people are figuring I might as well get them while I can. Jeff Flock joins us right now from a shooting range in Bolingbrook, Illinois, that has seen so much demand it has sold out of its annual membership. Wow, Jeff. Jeff? It is amazing, Trish. A little hard to hear you in here because of the uh, of the gunfire. But you were just looking at a woman there who uh, uh, just started start shooting in the last three months. Uh, she is uh, a part of a group called uh, Well Armed Women. Uh, it's a group that just says they need to be protected, and she is worried. In fact, I can ask her as she reloads her pistol there. Lori, uh, concern about this presidential election and the loss of perhaps your right to do what you're doing right now. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you, Jeff. <laughs> I know it's loud in here. You're concerned about your loss of your right to be able to do what you're doing right now. I'm concerned about losing my right to defend myself and my family. That's going to influence your vote. Yes, it will affect my vote. Yeah. Take a look at the numbers, Trish. I'll go ahead and get back to shooting there, uh, Lori. Uh, Look at the numbers. Uh, in the last month, we had an 11% increase year over year. 15 straight months of increases in folks uh, buying guns. I got Pete Negro, too, here with me, who is the uh, managing partner of this gun range. You're just seeing tremendous increase in it. Yeah, we, we have a lot of uh, people that the industry is bringing a lot of people into the sport that might not possibly have traditionally been involved in the sport. We're seeing a lot of women in, in really diverse groups coming in. And the political situation, the election has been one of these catalyzing events that you see tends to spike up gun Yeah, people have a lot of anxiety. They're afraid they're going to lose their Second Amendment privileges to own weapons and protect themselves and enjoy the sport. And before we get away, i got to ask you just a, the, the, the question. Some people say, you know, Hillary Clinton says, I don't want to take away everybody's guns. I simply want to regulate more. Uh, is reasonable regulation that something that's not un, not reasonable? Yeah, we feel that the government is regulating now in the appropriate manner, and the law by law-abiding citizens are are being regulated. We need to do a better job with those people that don't abide by the laws. I hear you. Uh, that'll be the last word, Pete and girl Appreciate it. As you can see, folks uh, still exercising their constitutional rights and. Uh, in this, the uh, at this uh, range uh, called right. the range at 355 in Chicago. Right. Okay, just, just don't go sneaking Not up on anyone there, Jeff. <laughs> Even though I know you want to talk to him. Thank you so much, Jeff. Good uh -huh. stuff. All right.